we, we, as states have, uh, as courts have ruled in favor of marriage at the state level, there's been a pushback, and we saw that in the passage of Proposition 8. Mm -hmm. I worked very hard to try to defeat that proposition, mm -hmm. and it was a blow, frankly. It was a huge blow at this, in the state of California. But it was also a sounding call uh, uh, to the communities, the communities that are being discriminated against, but to all of us who support uh, fairness uh, and uh, openness and equality, that we need to become more active. And mm -hmm. we need to, to uh, we need to do a lot of conversing within the, com uh, the com communities, in places of worship, in schools, and I have strong feelings about each of those, especially from my background as being a school nurse, mm -hmm. where sex education, including some uh, topics on gender, uh, have uh, been the subject of a lot of conversation and concern. And so how do you respond in this coming Congress to Proposition 8 and just the, the drama well, surrounding that? The, the drama surrounding it and, and the uh, opportunities that surround it, I believe, are the, something that our G, uh, caucus, LGBT caucus, can really use as uh, that opportunity to further discussion and awareness here. And can you um, specific, go specifically into the effects on lesbians and, and transgender women or, or speak to the effects on women in general about some of these issues and how they affect women? They affect women, but they affect all of us. Yeah. Um, they, we saw such a tragic occurrence, for example, in my district last year when a junior high kid, a young man, was killed by a fellow student because of homophobia, really. Mm -hmm. uh, and it makes us uh, painfully aware of how early the seeds of um, discrimination and, and hate become formed um, and scapegoating become formed in, in our communities that we must all be vigilant. Uh, one of the pieces that I'm very interested in that relates to this is bullying and mm -hmm. anti-bullying legislation. We have a bill um, that's working its way through the House on efforts to support school communities and other community organizations to work against bullying and to provide a climate because the results of that, Larry King died. And there could, there, we want to take from that tragedy ways that we can prevent those kinds of, of issues coming before young kids in the future. Mm -hmm. Reach out before um, uh, acts of violence occur so we can set, create a, a healthier climate. And that, a lot of that happens in the communities, in families, and in schools. Thanks so much.